everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everyone doing today? It is Friday, October 25th. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. And I know some of you are going, what are you doing home? Why aren't you with Lynette and Nina? Well, um, I felt a little under the weather the other night and I stayed home. So I didn't go to St. Augustine um, with the girls to the beach. You guys might not even know about that, I'm not sure. But anyways, they went to the beach and um, they're headed back to um, Sarasota area to load up some blankets for Boggy Creek. So, um, but anyways, I wanted to do a video. I didn't do one last night and so I wanted to do one today. I know I look like really pale. Um, I, I really didn't feel good, but I'm feeling better. So I figured I'm strong enough to share Happy Mail. So um, the first thing is I got a box for baby Happy Mail. I opened it and where are they? I wanted to do a video of sharing opening it with them, but I can't get them all to uh, hang out with me all at once. <laughs> but anyways, this is from Denise Heiser and Denise, you're so sweet. It says, I hope they like them. Dormeyer Fur Baby. Zeus, Maverick, Sadie, and Susie. <laughs> she got me one, two, three, four bags of biscuits. <laughs> I'll let you know if they like them. My, the big boys aren't finicky, but Susie and Sadie are extremely finicky when it comes to treats. Yes, I have spent a small fortune on treats, and they won't eat them. The big boys ate them. <laughs> Oh goodness. Door my fur babies. Yes, they are. Denise, you're so good to me. Sunflowers. Let's see. One bag is open. Thought I'd see if my Nelson would like them. Nope. <laughs> That's funny. Dear Nancy, I was at the store and seen these. Oh wow. Two fifty a bag. I'm like, what a steal. What store? So I, um, she, she picked up four bags for 10 bucks. Heck yeah. Thought of you in the fur babies. Num nums. Yeah, they are num nums. Let's see. Num nums. Num nums. Of course, Maverick's in here. Maverick's always with me. Okay. I'll try to get a video <laughs> and share trying to give these to them. I'll squeeze that in here. But yeah, there's four bags. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that because I spend a fortune on num noms. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Here's Maverick. You got to wait, buddy. Because I want everybody to get one at the same time. All right. And then I have... Let's see what this is. I have, this is kind of a private happy mail. I don't think it's something I want to share on the channel. Um, a little personal. Okay, this is from, it says, not for Boggy Creek. This is from Lisa Gadbury out of Littleton, Colorado, not Boggy Creek. Alright. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, she did not. You guys are so good to me. I got. Okay. Oh. It's yarn. It's yarn I've been wanting, y'all. I got more than enough now. Oh my goodness. Look at all this yarn. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. So, I have enough to make a cardigan of this. That's awesome. And I can make blankets and then I got enough to make the cardigan of this one too. So I'm excited. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. You guys know you don't have to send me anything, but I am very grateful. Lisa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, here they come. Num oh. num. Do you want num num? Come here, Sadie. Num num. Come. Come here. Okay, there. Num num! Sit. You gotta sit. Sit. Good girl. 
That's it. You don't have to sit. You've earned it. He sits, but it hurts to sit. He has to sit really slow. Thank you so much, Denise. And where's Susie? Susie! She's probably sleeping with her daddy. They were napping. Susie Q! We'll catch up with her. She'll come in here. Uh, does that answer your question? Do they like them? <laughs> they inhaled them. Shoops, I hit the keyboard. If Sadie inhaled it, they love it. Because this, this puppy, she's picky, a picky, picky, picky eater. Thank you so much for my card and my num nums. Denise, Lisa, thank you for the yarn. And I, I just have a letter from somebody. I got to reach out to them. It's not really for the channel, but it is a subscriber. Does it like your num nums? Did you like your num nums? She liked them. You want another one? Do you want another one? Come here. Come here, Sadie. No, I'm not coming to you. No, sir. No, no. no. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> They'll eat them all in one sitting. Zeus is going to start barking. Anyways. So. I don't know if you guys can see the giant pile behind me. <sighs> Let me move over. <laughs> this chair won't move over. Hold on. The rug was in the way. And it's like you got to move to the right to see the left side of the room. That is... I pulled all of that out of the closet because I'm looking for some some of my books, my Amy books. I bought a bunch of books from Joann's on sale and I can't find them. I think I bought like 10 books. I can't find them. So I pulled everything out. I don't think they're in there. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go through everything. I'm leaving that pile there and I'm going to go through. Some of it's just bags with yarn. Okay, because it was like a project I plan on doing. I never, never ended up doing it. I found um, in the closet, I found, okay, go lay down. You're not going to sit here and drool all over my feet. Go lay down. Go lay down. Um, I found this kit, the Mary Maxim kit. Beautiful kit. That is it. It's the Spring Tiles Throw. Isn't that pretty? I think this is part of that quarterly kit. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I might have bought it outright. But sometimes I do buy patterns and give them away. Hey, honey. Where's your bowls? Um, refrigerator. It's not in here. Okay. It's num num time. It's time to eat. Now they'll leave me alone. They're hungry. Anyways. So, but Denise, she takes care of my babies, and she also, y'all, wait, can you see it? She got me the sign right there. I have an easel I could set it on, but it, that takes up less room doing it that way. So, anyways. Oh, goodness. Thank you so much, y'all. Y'all are awesome. That made my day. Perked me up a little bit, because I am not 100% feeling great. I think I did too much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I am not the same person I was before the heart attack. Um, you think you can do something and you... I get, I get all this energy and I, I, I ran out of gas. Basically, I ran out of gas. But I did... I didn't feel good. Let's just leave it at that. A little bit under the weather. So. But before I get off of here, I was going to... I'm going through some stuff. I want to get rid of some stuff. Um, like these posters. When you own Jack Russell's, you buy posters because they take off all the time. <laughs> these posters are great. You nail them to a telephone pole. Missing Jack Russell. Mommy misses her babies. Call this number. Reward. Always found my dogs. Those, the, these giant, they're, um, 
the foam boards, the foam boards, they're great for missing animals. And you put a poster on every street that enters your neighborhood, <laughs> on every corner. And I always got calls. Yep. They're also great for finger painting with your grandchildren. But they don't like to finger paint really that much anymore. They're growing up so fast. And y'all, do y'all have as many? This is just like, this is nothing. These are bags from like Joann's and Michael's. And then Vera Bradley. I'm not sure. I'm going to save some of them, but I don't need all of them. I need to stop buying them and just put them in my car, huh? So, but yeah. I took my mannequin down. I'm going to put my green sweater on my mannequin. My sister-in-law this morning, she goes, can I have it? I said, she saw a couple of my makes. I gave her my, my Swifty black and white striped top. So, and then she's like, can I have this, the green one? I said, not till I did the tutorial. And this was a top I did. And I didn't do the armpits right. I made this at Uncle Greg's. I think I did this at Uncle Greg's. But... I don't know. I don't know if I want to frog it. What I did was is I made it I I made the chain too long. I should have just connected it right under the arm and or I made it too low. Probably should have done it right here. So I'm not sure. But anyways. I did not frog it. I've had it on my mannequin up top here. And I'm taking her down. And, um, you know, I put some shelves in that closet so I had more room to store stuff. And you know what? That's a mistake. It's just, it's a storage for a bunch of crap that I can't find. <laughs> So I took everything down and I'm hopefully can put it away. But in the meantime, this was my Sophie. I never did it. And here's all the yarn. And I'm going to put it in a box and I'm sending it to my, one of my girlfriends. Because I know she'll do it. I just, I'm just going to start getting rid of stuff that I either, either I'm going to frog it and donate the yarn. You guys know I buy yarn for the channel. I'm, I need to start letting go of stuff. Not just buying more shelves, but letting go of stuff. And it's not easy. No, it's not easy. So let me go get a container that I've been putting in. I think I'm going to cake these up. I'm not sure. I don't know, but I'm going to go get the container. I'll be back. I'm back. I'm going to put this on my mannequin. I had it on earlier. My sister-in-law, she was like in love with this thing. It looks better in person, I think, than it does on camera. I don't know. I saw this on Pinterest, this similar, and I fell in love with it. So, but... Yep. So, all right. I got a box here for my yarn that I'm going to get rid of. So, I was going to wind it up into cakes, but no. Nope. Just going to let it go. I've had this thing forever. <laughs> Not anymore. So. But whoever I give it to, I know the person that I'm going to give it to, actually. And I know she will. She's a crocheting fool. Alright, it's already filled up half the box. Wow. Okay, so that's one one bag down that that whip was in here and so i got one one bag down that's this actually this bag goes with i have the luggage set i have this in this color and i have it in black 
and and then this year I broke down and I bought suitcases which are great on airplanes these bags are great but I was so weighted down with all the Vera Bradley bags and then my suitcase you just push it with your pointer finger and it rolls across the floor with no problem you know uh -oh. next This is my knitting stuff. I really got to think hard about this. This is my Michael Kors bag. I'm so proud of her. She went right in her cage to eat. Thank you, honey. This is my Michael Kors bag. I need to wash it. So I just emptied that one. Two bags emptied. All right, y'all, this bag, this is my very first uh, attempt to do Tunisian, and I think I failed miserably. And the hooks that I bought were recommended by Tony, TL Yarns, TL something Yarns, but um, I don't like these hooks. They're, I don't know. I like the um, the wood ones better. I don't. Even, I can't even remember the name, but I have the whole set. And I just, I don't know. There's nothing really that. It's not that smooth. Um, but you know, <laughs> look at my end, and it's not a scarf. <laughs> little wonky but yeah but the yarn I was using is a lion brand mandala mandala but yeah so but then I attempted it again it looks like and I don't know I don't think I was doing it right it's just all wonky so I don't know if I can frog this I don't know, but I'll attempt to try to frog it, but this is going in this box to be given away with all the bits and bobs that go with it. I'm just going to let it go. I don't think I will miss it, even though I struggle to give things away, to let go, not to give things away, but to let go of things. Let's see if this will frog. I don't know if it will frog. I know some of you are going shame, shame, shame. This is when I, fir when I first started crocheting and I probably have showed this before and you're all like frog it, frog it, frog it and I just never got around to it. But I'm not feeling good today so I'm going to sit here and try to frog some stuff. This doesn't even feel like it fits on here. So, I know where the kid is to that. Uh, oh, look, I found a tape measure. I'm hoping I'll find some hooks. I'm missing a bunch of my yellow clovers. T-Mobile. Power adapter. It's so old. This is ice yarns. This is a cotton yarn. I made, I think I made a couple bags with this. This stuff is hard on the hands. It's a gift now. This is Knit Picks. And this is Client Brand Mandela. Mandala. Bits and bobs. She said she would take bits and bobs. Now this. Mm -hmm. 
frogging it. I don't know if I can turn this down if you can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Let me lift my chair up. I think I'm going to feel really good. I don't feel that great. I had a lot of fun with the girls on this trip. Um, I know Nina's going to be wiped out when she gets home. I feel bad that I'm not there. Yeah, I had two nights that um, I paid for at the beach and I couldn't, I just didn't have the energy to go. I mean, I, I had mentioned I can go and just stay in the room, you know, go with them and they were like, you need to just stay home, Nancy. So I did. And I'm kind of glad I did, but I'm sad I didn't get to hang out with them a little bit longer, especially Lynette. But I'll see Lynette um, in February or March. I'll see her in March, if not sooner, if she travels to Florida anytime soon, because her and her hubby are retiring. Well, he, she's retired. He's officially retired the, the new year, so. And they're gonna travel, they have an RV. I'm excited for them. This is like their dream to travel. I don't know. Traveling's not for everybody. I'm a homebody. I, I love traveling just locally. <laughs> what you want, Cece? Where's that Maverick? It's Maverick. Maverick's got the gray. <laughs> right there. Cece's face is all gray. What's he doing? You're not gonna sit here and drool. If he thinks there's food, he, his salivary gland won't turn off. I gotta run him off. I don't want him near my yarn. Actually, uh, but he's a good boy. See, what kind of dog are you? you good boy. <laughs> what kind of dog are you? Good boy, huh? You're a good boy. <laughs> his tail's wagging, he can't see. It. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, huh? <laughs> his tag is wailing. His tag is wailing. His, his tail is wagging. <laughs> you see my music stand? I bought that for patterns. That didn't work out so well. It's because the feet are in the way. So... And um, my mannequin, I broke the leg on my mannequin, so I think that's the stand I'm using. I don't know. I have so many stands. I only need one. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm just going to chunk it. And donate what I can, you know? We have, like, little... Um, place called Sandy's. It's a con consignment. I don't take stuff to Goodwill. Yeah. Their CEO makes a couple million a year. No. I'm not donating to him. That's... I don't think that's Goodwill. <laughs> I think they take care of it. Let's see. Oh, I hear the neighbor's dog. The dog doesn't bark, she screams. I swear. The dog has a scream. That scared the crap out of Sadie for the longest time. Sadie's not afraid of her anymore. Thank goodness. Well, this is my very first Tunisian project. Now this one frogged okay, but the ones that I have two colors, I might just put it in here if she wants, if anybody, whoever gets it, they can frog it. 
it's not just it's not one two three frog it's it's got a lot of added on yarn Let's see tied everything this is before I knew or I thought I knew it, what I was doing I still think I know what I'm doing but not necessarily know what I'm doing Hmm. Oh, here we go. Maybe I will be able to frog it. I'll at least wind up some of it, huh? I would go over there to the ball finder. Oh, man. another bag back so I got one two three bags no hooks just one um, Tunisian hook kind of a cool bag. I like these bags you can see and you see what you got. I really do. There's that other bag. Let's move over to, and I'll zoom in on my channel over here. Let's, I'm going to try to do the ball winder and continue to try that. but I just threw everything out here. It looks worse than it actually is. Um, let's see. What's up, Zussie? Huh? Did you eat? I love this ball winder. one way to give the old elbow a rest. But yeah, this is Man Mandela, I think it's Mandela Tweed by Lion Brand. I don't know the color name. I have a bunch of this yarn in the room next door. I think I collected the whole I have the whole collection of colors in the tweed. I'm not sure they even make this anymore. Yeah, I've got a few colors attached to this. I would say the yarn, but y'all, y'all know I collect a lot of yarn. I'm just gonna give it to someone that'll use it. What you want? Keep on. Come on. Oh, these wheels slurp up yarn. It 
drives me crazy. Alright, here we go. This white yarn, I don't know what it is, but man, is it soft. Like super soft. I don't know what it is. When I first started crocheting, I used to buy a lot of ice yarn. It might be ice, like super saver one of those because it's soft but it's a number four at least a number four really makes me feel good. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Um, and finding a home for it. Oh my goodness. This yarn loves to get tangled up. Lion Brand Tweed.
in this and I don't know why but it's not wanting to unwind. Is it this side that needs to unwind? Oh, it's this side. Duh. Alright. Wrong side. I wonder what the girls are doing right now. Okay. This is not wanting to frog. So I'm going to wrap it up in here and if they want to salvage this with the rest of that cake, so be it. That's all good yarn. I need to stay focused on what I'm clearing. All right. I'm gonna frog this. This yarn was given to me, and I'm going to frog it and start over. This just got lost in my crazy hyper brain closet. <laughs> This is cotton in a teal color. I'm not sure the brand of yarn because I don't have the ball band, but I got a lot of yarn here. A lot of yarn. Beautiful color, teal. And I'm going to cake it up. I'm going to keep this. This is the linen stitch. I don't know. I'm going to frog it. 
makes me sad, all that work. But... There's no pattern, it's just up here in, or I wrote it in a book and I don't know what book I wrote it in. It's too long ago. That's why I need to frog these things. And move on. And stop just saving every little strand of yarn that I crochet. for a little bit here, y'all. I even did a ribbing on this. Oh, come on. It should not be. This is cotton. It should not be doing that. I'm going to redo that cake. That cake looks pretty rough. I can zoom in on what I'm doing. Got a stitch marker. These are the big ones I love. Yeah, I remember working on this. I was working um, with a purple hook, purple dot, lavender dot. I think it's a four and a half. Four or four and a half. working on a couple sweaters on that trip. It was supposed to be like a month long trip. And I ruined it what day
we go. Contacts, sunscreen, scissors, bag number four. And this is a juicy couture. I had to do juicy couture. Oh, and it's got a um a knitting thingy. Cool. Alright. What's next? Okay, I'm not going to frog this because I'm going to finish it. I love this pattern. I kind of think create the pattern, but it's, I'm doing my own thing. There's several podcasters out there that do that plaid type pattern. I, I did Christmas stockings, I think, last year. Here's another bag. I can't remember who I got all my bags from. But some I bought, some were gifted. Here's some more bags. Oh my goodness, look at all these bags. What do I do with them? They're over there. Okay. I'll straighten them out in a little bit. Billy bags. My dear Bradley bag. Billy, the Crafty Floridian, made me these bags. I'm glad I found them. And she made me these two small ones, and then she made me a big one. What is this? 
some of these bags I'm going to get rid of. I don't know yet. But let's pile them over there. This one has a greyhound on it. No. I did a couple squares with that yarn. These are cute. I'm not sure who gave these to me. But look. Little bags. These are cute with octopus. I gotta iron them. Naughty. I think I gave all the yarn in this to Bree's daughter. Empty container. Woohoo! All right. This this is a kit. I need to finish it. Y'all remember this? I did this on vacation with Lynette. I think it's a kit. I never found my sunglasses. Yay. But the yarn here is Hirschner's Worsted Stripes. I love it. I do want to finish this. And I'm going to put it in a clear bag. A clear bag so I can see it. The pattern is Hirschner's Evolution Afghan. Isn't that pretty? I kept making mistakes. I'm getting frustrated. But I got one, two, three, four. That's not done. That's not done. So four and then five partially done. What is this white stuff? All right. Nancy making other stuff. You guys, if you don't use Lumi, you guys gotta try it. Deodorant wipes this stuff. I use the shower gel and it works for up to 72 hours, they say. Um, i tell you what, it works better than deodorant and longer. All right, so another Vera bag. I have a black suit. I have a black set. That's my that's my second set of Vera. Oh. Is this a Vera Bradley? No. No, it's not. Mm, let's see. I think the reason I stopped this, I was doing the pattern incorrectly. I discovered I was doing it wrong, completely wrong. And I may have to frog everything, but until, I mean, we'll see. But yeah, I can't remember what, but I was like, dang it, I've been doing this wrong the whole time. And you have to count or you mess up. I don't know if you can see this. I was I messed up somewhere in here. In in here. I'm not sure. I was doing it wrong. So well I'm gonna frog this. Frog this one. And where's the plastic bag? I'm gonna put actually. I don't know if I did these wrong, but I know I did those that wrong. What happens when you stop and start? But yeah, that way 
what I do with the pattern. Here's the pattern. And now you can see the pattern. It's for my own use. So, okay, I'm keeping that one. So, let's go back to the ball winder. hungry. Let's see how long this video is. Oh, it's almost noon. we go. Well, I'm probably going to get off of here. I'm going to see if Tinny will go pick something up to eat. I think I can eat something tonight. Or I just might get some soup. Yesterday when I was feeling so bad, I watched, um, they're not horror movies, they're paranormal movies. People talking about experiences they had on the job, night shift or something like that. in bed but my husband invited my sister-in-law over <laughs> and she wanted to see what sweater she could confiscate she wants that one I told her not till I finished the tutorial because I can't find I took notes for it and I can't find the book it's here somewhere I just don't know where to put it all right Do, 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 All right. I did start, uh, shame on me, I may have already told you, I did start another cardigan in the yarn that everyone has sent me. Um, is it spooky season, I think? And then I'm going to do the other one also, the um, purple, white, and gray. But this one, it really, let me show, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It's really cool. Let me show you. Squirrel! You guys are going to love this. I absolutely love it. And this is just, you know, I'm testing it so far. I really like it. Now, here I put black. I wanted to see what it looked like with black and then the spooky yarn and then black. But it, you really can't tell any different because, I mean, I don't know. There's black in this, but I think if I was to start it over again, I forgot I should have done the uh, chainless foundation because that's why these ends curl. Dumb dumb figured that out today. <laughs> so, but yeah. 
I don't know. I may frog it back and start over, but I wanted to see how it looked worked up, and I really like it. And it's going to be a cardigan or a sweater or a pullover. I'm not sure. Um, but that's what I had on the hook today while I was laying there miserable, not feeling good. And I've been working on a Hirschner's Halloween yarn that Anita sent me doing a boggy blanket with the um, sorcerer the pink burgundy black and orange it's a Halloween yarn I can't wait to work up the green and purple Halloween yarn I just maybe next year what is all this that's it's crazy <laughs> traveling on the go but this yarn is beautiful this stripes yarn Hershner's I love Hershner's yarn that's my new go-to yarn here lately I mean I love big twists too don't get me wrong I've been having a lot of fun with a lot of the Halloween yarns. We got a boggy blanket package, it looks like. What? What? Do you want to go outside? I think he got a whiff of Tyler. He can't hear. He was sleeping. Do you see what I He can't hear me. Okay, guys. I'm going to get off of here. I know I haven't talked much. But we got a bag of blankets. I got like six boxes in the dining room table. Oh, this is from Angela. Oh, my girl. Okay, that's all right. Good. I love y'all. I see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.